Did you know there are 10,000 tourists to every resident of Kinderdyke? Home to 19 stunning windmills. Kinderdyke windmills kept South Holland dry since 1738 when they were constructed. This frame-like structure makes sure the blades have some flexibility and cannot be blown off by a strong wind. Dutch mills were the first to feature inclined sails, tilted about 12 degrees, to harness the stronger winds found at higher altitudes. They also pioneered the use of tower mills with rotating caps, allowing only the top of the mill to turn into the wind instead of the entire structure. The sails typically have a tapering angle of weather and include a lattice framework, enabling the miller to adjust the sailcloth as needed. Dutch stage and tower mills are built as octagonal prisms that gradually taper toward the top. At the base, a skirt encircles the structure, directing rainwater away from the sill plate to protect the foundation. The caps of these windmills have a distinctive shape, often likened to an inverted boat, and are traditionally covered with reed thatch, never with shingles. In this region, windmills contain very little ironwork apart from the quants and wind shafts. Most are turned into the wind manually using a tail pole, rather than being equipped with an automatic tail fan. Count Floris V, who ruled medieval Holland, grew weary of the constant disputes among lords and nobles over land that frequently flooded. In response, he established the first water board in 1277, compelling the nobility to collaborate in keeping the land dry. Through this cooperation, they built dikes, windmills and other infrastructure to drain the land and prevent flooding. In the 19th century, as land continued to sink and water levels rose, the windmills could no longer provide sufficient pumping capacity. To meet the growing demand to keep the polders dry, the Niederward and Overward water boards constructed steam-powered pumping stations. After World War II, all mills were decommissioned and millers were released from their contracts. But instead of tearing them down, the Kinderdijk windmills were already a tourist attraction, which kept them from demolished. Today, the windmills are still maintained in working condition, but they no longer play a role in water management. Instead, the primary water control is handled by two electric pumping stations located near one of the site's entrances. Now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, they attract visitors from around the globe. To learn more about architecture around the world, please like, subscribe and share this video.